I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me? Oh. Hey everyone, it's Ariana, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite summertime desserts since summer's not over yet, a chia seed pudding. It looks super fancy, but it's actually super simple to make. All you're going to need is a can of coconut milk, which is about a cup and a half, and a cup of Greek yogurt. Whisk it up. Then we're going to add a splash of vanilla and whatever sweetener you like, about a quarter cup. I'm using honey and a little sprinkle of salt. Whisk this mixture until everything is combined, and then we're going to pour in our chia seeds. I used about a third of a cup and fold them in using a spatula. The cool thing about this recipe is that the chia seeds are gonna absorb all that liquid and expand a ton in size. Then you're gonna wanna set it aside for about 30 minutes to let the chia seeds absorb some of the liquid. You're gonna wanna stir it around to make sure that all of them are evenly distributed and then cover in plastic and put it into the fridge overnight or for as long as possible. The longer they sit in the fridge, the bigger they're gonna get. I love to layer the pudding in a jar with some fresh berries. The tartness of the fruit against that creamy, slightly coconutty pudding is so amazing. And we're done! Follow for more recipes! You really need to try this almond butter. So roast almonds and wait until they're cool, add sea salt and then blend together until it gets really creamy like this and that's it there's no oil added it's just that Honey cakes. In a bowl, 300 grams of flour, 4 teaspoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. In another bowl, 300 grams of butter, 100 grams of brown sugar, and 100 grams of white. Mix them together until pale and fluffy. Then take 4 tablespoons of honey and add it to the butter mixture. Then crack in 4 eggs and mix. Once mixed, slowly stir in the dry ingredients until it's a thick batter. Fill the cupcake liners halfway and cook at 190 degrees for 30 minutes or until golden brown. You can ice them if you want, but I quite like them just on their own.
Hey everyone, it's Ariana, and do you remember when making this fluffy cloud bread was all the rage on social media? I made this strawberry cloud bread and was so proud of it, but at the time, I was just getting started making videos and not many people saw it. Basically, you whip up three egg whites with a tablespoon of cornstarch, two and a half tablespoons of sugar, some vanilla, and food coloring. Bake at 350 for 10 to 15 minutes, and then I made a little strawberry jam with some strawberry, sugar, and lemon juice to put on top. Let me know what you thought of this trend. Do you think it tastes like scrambled eggs, or do you think it was worth the hype? Drop a comment and follow for more recipes. Full recipes on my Instagram. He's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad to feature. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something